Good day, my name is Jim Norcross. I'm a regional sales manager with System 3R Tooling. Very proud to be here at New Jersey Precision Technologies. This particular video is going to uh, teach how to mount a System 3R 602.27 stainless manual lever action macro chuck to your wire EDM and the same procedures would uh, take place if you're mounting this chuck to a granite presetting block. First. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is note that on the front face of this chuck is a precision ground edge, which is ground true to the XY references of the chuck. So what you will do is you're going to take the chuck and using the bolts and the washers that come with the chuck, snug the chuck down to the table. Then, utilizing a dial indicator that will be mounted to the head of your wire EDM machine, simulated by my arm and hand right now, you're going to indicate across that ground face and adjust accordingly so that the, the chuck is true to your XY travels. That does not take care of adjusting in this plane or that plane. The Z references are true to the bottom of the chuck, but we're not sure what the top of your table is like. So you would then indicate across the Z references of the chuck and using shims, if necessary, adjust appropriately. Then indicating across the Z references in the opposite axis make any necessary adjustments. At that point, your chuck is square and true to your table. You can tighten down the bolts and your chuck should be true to the world in your wire EDM machine. question was asked, is there a specific torque necessary to, to tighten the screws that attach the fixture to the head? The answer is no. You just need enough to compress the uh, cup springs. Okay, another question was asked regarding weight capacities and sizes of workpiece that are allowed per fixture. Within the System 3R wire EDM tooling catalog, we do have a chart that not only refers to the torque, the tightening torque per fixture on vice jaws, but it also talks about what the capacity is uh, of the size of the workpiece, distance from the center line of the head to the end, it's all listed in here, both uh, torque sizes, uh, pardon me, torque settings. For instance, this four inch vise will come with a torque wrench that uh, gives a seven Newton meter tightening. Vise that would go on to a ruler has an eight Newton meter torque wrench. The magnum size leveling adapter, which would typically be uh, six inch capacity or eight inch capacity, would have a 15 Newton meter torque wrench. All right, one more question was asked. 
in the lobster claw. What is this hole for? That hole is a pickup hole so that you can find the center of your workpiece. Once you have the lobster claw level, you can thread your wire through this hole, do a pickup, and then etched onto the lobster claw is a formula to where you can plug those figures in, do the calculations, and it is going to tell you where the center of your workpiece is, which means you're not going to have to do the triangulation, the touch off, touch off, cut your wire, come through here, touch off, and then do your triangulation. That is the purpose for that hole. Thank you.